It's time for today's qualifying session to begin here in the United States. Welcome to the Circuit of the Americas. Now then, Anthony Davidson, you're not getting any younger, but you have been involved in your fair share of qualifying sessions in a, an illustrious 30-year career. How do you deal with the pressure when you have that one chance to deliver a perfect lap? It's not so much about dealing with the pressure, it's more about how you approach the risk and just how much of it are you willing to take. You're constantly balancing the car on the edge of grip from braking, cornering and traction. And over the course of a lap, it's easy to get that balance wrong. And that's why achieving the perfect lap is almost impossible. As you say, I've been doing this 30 years now and it never gets any easier. What is up guys and welcome back to my Robert Kubica career mode on F1 2017. This weekend, we're at the land of the free and the home of the brave for the United States a Grand Prix. Into, right into qualifying then on our bank lap. I'm not even going to show you my first lap. It was that tragic. I can't do that to you as a subscriber and a viewer of mine. I'll just spare that. Uh, but uh, we've gone uh, 13 fast fastest uh, with a 137.8 which obviously is not good enough. So going through this uh, fast uh, flowing um, whatever man section there uh, but yeah, as I said, uh, sitting P13 in between Magnussen and Sainz. But on the second lap, we managed to put together a decent sector at the end there. Seven tenths up and uh, P11. That is still not really performing. But with two minutes of session to go, hopefully should be enough. I don't even think we're going to make it to the line with... Oh uh, no, we, we haven't even made it to the line. But please tell me we've qualified up p11 i couldn't actually make it to the line to start my third lap but somehow uh, that second lap was good enough nico in p8 and we're gonna go through to q2 in p11 looks like it's getting a bit overcast now into q3 so a uh, q2 so uh, maybe rain coming up in uh, q3 i don't know uh, we're gonna go on um, ultra soft tires in q2 as well not looking to do anything weird with the strategy this uh, this weekend we're not even taking any penalty so their goal is uh, firmly to qualify as high up the grid as possible coming up to the line it's a 36 9 a bit of an improvement on our q1 best lap uh, and of course we're gonna drop down the grid uh, with five minutes to go we're sitting where are we sitting p9 uh, so this is gonna be our final lap of the race we got some traffic here and uh, that's never ideal but we've, uh, we've got just a bit of advantage because I kept it flat uh, through that flowing sector and it's paid off half a second up and we are I think we've done it I think we have 8 P8 and we're gonna go through to the top 10 shootout definitely gonna be raining I think but uh, has Nico qualified no he hasn't He's dropped out in P11, so we're the only Renault, and as, as I said, surely enough, it is raining, and I don't know, man, I just don't know. I'm going to come across the line, finish my first lap, is the 155, I think, yeah, sitting P10. I don't know if I'm going to do any better, although I am going three seconds faster than my previous lap, just getting used to it suddenly from dry to wet. But yeah, coming across the line fire three minutes faster, but I still don't think it's gonna be enough And as I said P10, that's the best we could do. Let's go to the race and yeah So qualifying is complete and we're all set for an exciting race tomorrow Your top three are Vettel, Bottas and Lewis Hamilton The grid is set then so that just leaves the race itself Join us tomorrow where we'll be live with all the action and until then it's goodbye. Well then, after an exciting qualifying session yesterday, let's take a look at how the cars line up. Sebastian Vettel has a clear track ahead of him today. He starts in pole position, and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Hamilton, Raikkonen, Daniel Ricciardo, and Verstappen, Ocon, Perez, Sainz, and Areno, Hülkenberg, Massa, Roman Grosjean and Alonso, Stroll, Ericsson, Stoffel van Dorn and Daniel Kvyat. Verlein and Kevin Magnussen rounds off the grid. 
Now it's almost time to lights out, so let's go down to the track. Right, here we are then on the grid for the start of the race. Just looking at our race strategy here. I don't really want to do a two-stop, so I'm going to stretch these ultras as, as far as possible and hopefully go to the end on uh, softs, which is the plan, but we'll see what happens. But on the grid, five red lights, we're starting P10 and we are underway for the United States Grand Prix. It's been an okay start, not as good as signs up ahead. Uh, and don't know if we're gaining any positions. We're gonna go into turn one. There's always opportunities into turn one at Kota. We've pushed off uh, the Force India and the Signs as well. We gained two positions, I think, pretty fairly. Uh, we're sitting behind Daniel Ricardo here, who is in uh, P7 going through the SS. Uh, so looks like there's a yellow flag. I don't know what that is for. Ocon here, side by side with Signs, and he's given a little love tap, and he's gone for a spin in the background as everyone make their way oh no i think this happened to him in uh, malaysia as well although that was a puncture but ocon is gonna uh, rejoin at the back of the grid i don't know if, uh, if he's got damage meanwhile we're gonna come through with some op slipstream and engine power get the position on daniel ricardo but he's gonna come back and hit us i think there was some debris flying off and that was from the red bull i, I think i don't know if who, whose fault that was because uh, I came back on the racing line but definitely left him some space there but I don't know if he was being too aggressive but uh, anyway we've gotten the position back from him uh, going into the second last corner I've fully forgotten to break there a comeback onto the circuit side by side with Ricardo going into the final corner just make this happen and no absolutely no love lost there between me and Daniel is gonna get that position back barging us off the track but we're gonna come back with another attack right away into turn one on lap three we're gonna go down the inside this time I'm gonna be brazen as well if you're not gonna leave me some space I'm not gonna leave you space my friend so I'm gonna take this position I think we're up to P7 now I uh, don't know what the cars up ahead are doing and this is what they're doing with all this fighting that's going on with between me and uh, Ricardo Looks like Perez has run away from us by 5 seconds, so that's annoying. I'm gonna have to claw back 5 seconds, I don't know if I can do that anyway. On lap 6, looks like there's a car in the pits. I think it's the uh, Ferrari of Sebastian Vettel, very early pit stop for him. And now he's gonna come back out of the pits uh, on super softs. And he is right behind me, uh, asking me to let him go, but I don't know if that's possible because Sebastian if you want to do it on the straight you can but uh, as we've seen throughout the season uh, you can't <laughs> you know in Canada we saw it everywhere we've seen it on the straights they can't the Ferrari can't overtake the Renault um, on coming up to lap 7 looks like 50% on my rear tires so could be time there's another car in the pits I think that is um, I don't know that is um, Hamilton I suppose but finally we let uh, Sebastian go, we don't actually let him go, I made a horrible mistake on the exit there and he's taken that position. Meanwhile, on to the end, towards the end of lap 7, on to lap 8, we finally decided to come into the pits. We've stretched this as much as possible but although looking at everyone else on the, on the track, it looks like we didn't actually stretch it out because lap 8... Yeah, and we're only the third or fourth car to come in, so that's weird. We're gonna rejoin at the back of the grid. So, bit weird what's going on here because uh, I thought I stretched them from lap six to having to pit at lap eight. But there you go. On lap nine, uh, looks like everyone else is pitting now. So we're gonna make up as many places as possible. Uh, come back to our original position. I think uh, after Ricardo, it was Carlos Sainz who was behind him and here, here he is side by side we're gonna come out hopefully get it around the outside I don't know if this is much of a victory for us in the grand scheme of things but definitely I think it was Sainz who was behind Ricardo and as we come to the oh no that's Nico Hulkenberg is out of the race I think with a mechanical failure yellow flags here I think he's parked up right yep that, there he is by Nico, <laughs> oh no, that's a big blow for Renault right there on lap 10. And speaking of lap 11 now, 
uh, looks like we've got a new contender uh, who's going to challenge us because out of nowhere, Felipe Massa in his Williams on super soft tyres has just pushed the uh, Carlos Sainz aside and is now all over the back of us. I did not see this coming. I mean, he was nowhere near us. And suddenly, I think he's gotten his uh, super softs uh, switched on a bit better than everyone else. And we've got Ericsson here. I think he started on uh, super softs and he's being a bit of a nuisance because he's just pushed me off circuit. I don't know what that's for. And now he's put us under pressure from uh, Felipe Massa. So we're just going to not take any of this. Just get out of the way. You're a sauber. So please, thank you. Go and, go and disturb uh, Felipe. That's going to help us. Uh, yeah, thank you, thank you so much for doing that because while you're uh, disturbing him, I'm gonna run away, but not for long because two laps later, Felipe obviously has got the better uh, uh, speed here on on the on his tires. He's gonna come down my inside. We're gonna try and defend as hard as possible. I don't care if gonna, if we shove him off circuit because if if we go, going on to this uh, uh, start finish straight or the back straight. Even the Williams can't really challenge us as we see Valtteri Bottas. Why are they dropping like flies here? I don't know what's going on. Meanwhile, two laps later, we got another big contender. Uh, after we saw signs getting uh, signs being overtaken by Massa, we now see Massa being overtaken by Roman Grosjean, who apparently is going to come out and overtake us as well. I've somehow left him the inside bit of a. Uh, I underestimated him, I think, because uh, I thought he's a Haas, he won't get past me, and look what's happened there. I've taken the outside, and he's just gone down my inside, but on lap 19, we're going to come through with DRS, but as, we sup as we're as we just going to overtake him, uh, Lance Stroll is out of the race, and we're, we're told to get uh, give him back the position, because the yellow flag just came out a second uh, not even a second just before we overtook him so we have to legally give him back the position and uh, wait till the uh, safety car comes in which is about now so we're gonna have to make this move as soon as possible uh, meanwhile the uh, tires is a bit of a concern as well 41% on the rears but we're gonna think about that later because we've got DRS on Grosjean, we are in P7, which is a good position compared to where we started. So we go then into turn one with DRS down the inside, no underestimating a Haas car anymore. We're gonna go down the inside, squeeze him out, get that position, and I think we are up into P6. But although, yeah, now we have to look at what's going on with our tires because I thought we we're gonna to go to the end, but clearly. We're not really making that work because there's 44% wear on the tires now to lap, uh, towards the end of lap 20. I think about going in but decide to stay out. It's very crucial what Grosjean does here as well because if he pits with me then it's fine. But if he doesn't pit I'm a bit screwed. So here we go on lap 22 we're gonna go in but of course he's not. Of course Grosjean is not gonna pit. I think he's gonna make it to the end on, so on soft which is incredible for him. But uh, we're gonna come in on lap 22 for uh, ultra soft six uh, for six laps of hammer time, as Lewis Hamilton would call it, and we're gonna need it because look, we're gonna come out in in uh, P13. So b after being P6, we're gonna, we now come out in P13 and out of the points, and we've got uh, five six seconds ahead of us. We've got all of these cars, about six or seven cars, if I'm honest. So if we can just catch up to them in about 2-3 laps, then it's going to be a good race. Otherwise, we're going to barely struggle to make any sort of points. So we're going to have to hammer these laps in as soon as possible and uh, get close to them on lap 23 here. Uh, just look at the split. I think I'm about 4 seconds behind the nearest car to me, which is uh, Carlos Sainz. And there they are on uh, towards the end of lap 24. Somehow I've gotten gotten to the back of them, and from here I'm gonna have four laps to do some damage here. Uh, one second behind the closest car um, on lap 25 here. We're gonna come through and get past signs. Is they're going very slow because let's be honest, these all of these guys are just trying to make their tires last to the end of the race they're they're all on worn tires so 
we're gonna have to make the most of this double overtake down the inside of the um, Williams and the Toro Rosso there we've gotten three cars in a matter of half a lap if that so uh, we're looking looking good there and the next car up ahead of course is our nemesis and our in-game rival who is uh, Esteban Ocon in his force India and fair play to him he, remember he started he was at the back of the grid after spinning and now he's still sitting in a P8 but not for long because we're gonna go down the inside of him and get past him on lap 26 into P8 now next car up ahead looks like it is Kevin Magnussen who's also doing a one stop on here onto softs here uh, but with one lap to go even one and a half laps to go we go down the inside we've gone down way too hard there just about managed to get that car slow down mostly due to the uh, ultra softs if anything for the grip from them but the next car up ahead is uh, Daniel Ricciardo and I don't think I'm gonna have enough because it is five seconds up the road which is uh, way too much for me but meanwhile up ahead it's gonna be Lewis Hamilton just about winning the race from Sebastian Vettel I think that is Lewis with a dominant win whereas and as for us uh, can you see that can you see uh, Daniel Ricciardo just up the road that's how close we were about three seconds I think I closed the gap about uh, two seconds in a lap but we're gonna come home and it is going to be P7. P7 is where we're gonna end this race. Ah, oh, if only, right? If only. And here are our podium drivers today after that excellent race. They've excelled here as they so often do, and it's a well deserved victory. Mercedes then are on top today. So there you have it, P7 at the United States Grand Prix and as I said at the end of the race, if only, if only I could have managed to get my soft tyres to the end there, uh, I wonder how much higher we could have finished but uh, you know, we put on the ultras at the end, had some fun overtaking and yeah, P7. Next weekend it is uh, Mexico, uh, so I will see you then, thank you so much for watching, subscribe for more and bye bye. Yeah,